Hi, this is Sylvia Saber with OPTV Global Headlines. Starting with the top international stories for the day. President Joe Biden has opened his first visit to the Mideast since taking the office. Biden offered Israeli leaders strong reassurances of his determination to stop Iran's growing nuclear program. The U.S. Air Force successfully tested a Lockheed Martin Corp hypersonic missile. One of its concepts is to use an exciting high-mobility artillery rocket system launcher. Russian troops, along with the local militia, have entered the Ukrainian city of Sivrest. Ukraine's armed forces said that Russia had not conducted any new assaults on the front line. Sri Lankan Prime Minister's decision to make his ally and the acting president the Prime Minister triggered more protests. Demonstrators stormed the Premier's office demanding that he quit too. China claimed that it drove away a U.S. destroyer sailed near the disputed Aracel Islands. The United States regularly carries out what it calls freedom of navigation operations in the South China Sea. Up next, we have the national updates. Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif has appointed British Pakistani enterpriser Zishan Shah as ambassador at large on investment. Multi award winning entrepreneur is hopeful of bringing investment into Pakistan. Chairman Pakistan Tehreek Insaf Imran Khan claimed that his efforts to introduce electronic voting machines are scuttled by powerful quarters. The Election Commission of Pakistan and the major political parties who allegedly endorsed rigging. Mr. Khan alleged that ECP head Sikandar Sultan Raja also joined hands with these parties against the EVM. Mutahida Qaumi movement leader Babar Ghori has departed for Dubai. Ghori got acquitted in a case related to facilitating provocative speech by the anti-terrorism court. Ten terrorists have been killed by Pakistan Army troops in Datakhel and Madakhel of North Waziristan. ISPR stated that killed terrorists have been involved in activities against security forces. Sindh and Balochistan received over 500% more rain than 30-year average in July. Since declared health emergency as the province braces itself for another strong rain spell on July 15th and 16th. Up next, we have the health updates. Researchers at the University of Birmingham revealed that new cancer drug can restore damaged spinal nerves. The experimental drug AZD-1390 is under examination by AstraZeneca to block sensitivity to cancer cells from radiation treatment. Up next, we have the updates on science and technology. Chinese scientists have developed a robot fish that eats microplastics. It may help to clean up the world's polluted oceans and provide information to analyze marine pollution. Up next, we have the sports updates. Pakistan's Young Qs and the International Billiards and Snooker Federation World Snooker Champion SM Ramzan qualified for quarterfinals in World Games. The 11th edition of the Multisport World Games is being played in Birmingham, Alabama, United States of America. Pakistan's test tour of Sri Lanka is in danger after the island nation's Prime Minister declared a state of emergency. The Pakistan cricket team is currently in Sri Lanka to play a test series from July 16th. Up next, we have the entertainment updates. Indian gangster Lawrence Bishnoi has admitted that he bought a rifle to kill Bollywood superstar Salman Khan. Bishnoi said he wanted to teach a lesson to the star. Virginia judge has rejected Hollywood actress Amber Heard's demand for a new trial in the defamation case against her former husband, Johnny Depp. Up next, we have the business updates. The International Monetary Fund and Pakistan have reached a staff-level agreement to release $1.17 billion. U.S. inflation has surged to a new four-decade high in June because of rising prices for gas, food and rent. Lower income, Black and Hispanic Americans have been hit especially hard.
Taba Fusion is a pharmacist-owned, patient-focused team of professionals with over 30 years experience providing intravenous medication to pediatric and adult patients in the comfort and safety of their own home. Founded by Dr. Sohail Masood, a pioneer in the home infusion industry and recipient of Ernst & Young's Entrepreneur of the Year Award, Kaba Fusion has 28 state-of-the-art compounding pharmacies across the country with service capabilities nationwide. Specializing in IVIG, SCIG, and acute therapies, our highly skilled infusion nurses are present throughout your treatment and our clinicians are on call 24 hours a day. Please visit us at kabafusion.com for more information. Shalimar Halal Meat and Groceries, America ka sabse bada ala quality halal meat, chicken and grocery store. Moshi Bohran aur mehengai ke tufan mein jakade huye sarafin ke liye, President Shalimar Group of Restaurants and King of Sweets, Seth Latif ki janib se. Community Help Package, Whole Baby Goat and Lamb, $8.99, Beef with Bone, $3.99, Beef Kima, $4.99, Whole Chicken, $2.49, Chicken Leg, $1.49, Clean and Cut Whole Chicken, $3.49, Chicken Leg, $2.99, Chicken Kima, $2.99, Zebra rice 40 pounds, $55. Shan masala, $1.29. Muntaha ala quality Pakistani rice, $11.99, 10 pounds back. Muntaha rice se pake khano ka maza na ane par paise wapis. Iske alawa tamam grocery aur masala jat na haayet kam narhon par dastya. We are accepting kurbani orders with free cooking. EBT food stamps kabli kabool. Shalimar halal meat and groceries, Islin, New Jersey, 732-283-7474.